Today we're talking defense, right? Mm -hmm. Defense. We're talking defense. Africa's defense. Armed forces and things like that, right? Now, uh, my first question to you is uh, on the main topic I wanted to, to talk to you about. Okay. My main question, my first question to you is have you heard about AFRICOM? No, I've never heard about it. Okay, you never heard about AFRICOM. Good. Um, AFRICOM is actually the United States government attempt to colonize Africa uh, using uh, a, a, a military occupation which they call uh, AFRICOM, right? So a, a set picture is currently emerging in Africa where the USA is deploying an occupation army in order to control Africa like during the time of colonization where African countries will not be allowed to have freedom to choose their friends, their future and their destiny. Everything will be dictated by, by, by the U.S. What it means is uh, they're basically going to tell us uh, uh, who, which country should be our friends and which one should not be our friends based on their own uh, international agenda. You know, an international agenda. They're going to be telling us dictating to us because if you don't comply then africom can overthrow your government because most african countries have weak governments right mm -hmm. now obviously that is a huge threat against africa okay. uh, do you agree or disagree with that that it's a huge threat uh, against africa to have africom in africa yes i think it's a huge threat but do you think that this system that they want to implement in yeah. africa yeah are they going to do it easily? Because, the, like, for example, where I come from, yeah. we have we were colonized by French people. Okay. So... Do so you think uh, there might be... Uh, French might not be happy yeah. with the United States bringing uh, Africa... Bringing the system in you, my country. Yeah, you, you, you got a good point. But remember, uh, United States and French and France are, 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 are allies. You understand? Yes. They are uh, the same uh, uh, people that colonized and enslaved Africans, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to matters uh, of protecting what we know as white supremacy, what uh, I call pink supremacy, they work good together. You understand? Uh, uh, obviously, as long as the United States respect uh, uh, um, France's core interests, you understand? Yes of domination in Gabon, they have no problem, you understand? As long because it's going to serve, they're all part of NATO. Have you heard about NATO? Yes, yes. NATO is a, a, a European organization, mm -hmm. yes. military organization for the defense, right? Mm -hmm. This, that organization serves also to, to invade nation, like in, our, in, our, in Afghanistan, and to threaten. So, they work nice together, only if United, in United States start threatening, undermining uh, France's own interests, right? Mm -hmm. That's when France gonna oppose them, but United States has no reason to undermine French interests because they are one and the same. Mm -hmm. and it's the same race. They all stand for pink supremacy, <laughs> what you know as white supremacy. They all stand for keeping Africans under colonization, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously they were uh, um, a thing. So you made a, a good point. Um, uh, they will work uh, nicely together on that, right? So you agree that uh, uh, Africom is a huge threat to yes, to Africa. Very interesting. Uh, the USA, my second, my, my next question will be, the USA throughout its history has been a very evil nation as far as the African people are concerned, right? It abducted millions of Africans. Yes. It forced into slavery, right? Slavery, yes. uh, raped millions of African women throughout its madness period in Africa, which lasted centuries, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it did medical experiment on Africans, and one of uh, them, we, which a well-known medical experiment they did on Africans, is called the uh, Tuskegee, uh, Tuskegee experiment. It was done in the United States, right? Okay. Have you heard about that? No. <laughs> they infected Africans, male and female, with syphilis and gonorrhea uh, bac uh, bacteria, syphilis and gonorrhea bacteria, in order to see how it works on human beings according to them right okay. so they did it uh, later on i'm going to provide you more uh, uh, inform information on that 
they did it and it's it's well known everybody knows it those who have information those have uh, okay. access to internet and stuff they know it they done that um, and that's not all the USA actively worked with all European enslaving nation okay that's not all I was saying the USA actively worked with all the European uh, enslaving nations mm -hmm. that suppressed and subdued Africans to pink supremacy. The USA did everything in its power to make sure that apartheid South Africa could continue to hurt Africans, enslave and destroy Africans. It listed uh, the ANC and President Mandela as terrorists. I, were you aware of that? You know, President Mandela was called a terrorist by United States government and only one year they, uh, ago they re removed him from the terrorist list okay. um, <laughs> because he was fighting uh, apartheid right yes the usa today is trying to set up military bases in africa yes. and the what they call africom right in order to keep hurting africans uh, also to keep colonizing to keep dominating africans so that uh, we remain in the current conditions we are right now right okay. my question to you is do you think the african people in your opinion do you think african people should start preparing for the wars, right? In order to remain uh, uh, free from uh, that clearly uh, 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 hostile act uh, uh, agenda to us. Do you think we should be preparing for war or something like that if they're going to come and say they want Africa in Africa? What's your opinion on that? Uh, I think that African don't really necessarily to be involved in war in war okay what we can do is like what can i say <laughs> <laughs> what can we do is like maybe put in play into place a forum yeah where african yeah governments or presidents are yeah. me will be meeting with the united, united states, states okay. government yes but if the United States government says uh, we gonna bring Africa, either you like it or you don't like it, ah. what's gonna happen? <laughs> huh? Because that's what they're doing. They have always done things like this. Yes, it's not new. I know. You know, they, they know. help wage a war in Angola for 27 years. Yes. You know, these people are not, uh, they don't play when it comes to pink supremacy. You know, what you call white supremacy. Ah, they no, don't play. No. Now, if they gonna say whether you like it or you don't like it or you like it, we bring Africa. In your opinion, should we prepare for war? Yes or no? Why Preparing you can... for war. So, so if they say they're gonna impose Africa, what, what should be our reaction? Ah, we have to race against it. That means, because they're gonna occupy us, it means we're gonna have to prepare for war, isn't it? Ah. Are you war is not the solution. <laughs> so what, what, what you gonna do then? <laughs> war can't be the solution. Okay, now, if, if, if you, United States, want to colonize Africa today, yes. should we prepare for war, yes or no? Okay, now we have to prepare for war for this case. Because it's colonization, right? <laughs> yes. But Africa is colonization. It's a form of colonization, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, it means we have to prepare for oh. war. Because uh, they, these people are crazy. <laughs> if people could enslave us, right? Impose us their names. Okay. Right? Impose us their language. Huh? Take control of our economies, destroy our cultures. Uh, traumatize us to the point where some African even change their skin color to try to look like them. Mm -hmm. You know, if they could do uh, trying to wipe out our own identity and things like that, right? Yes. These people are not people you can you can think they are just anybody. These are highly dangerous <laughs> people, which are a major threat to our future. You agree with me on yes, that, right? Yes, I do agree. So if they're gonna break Africa, if we tell them we don't want Africa, but they insist, should we prepare for war? Yes or no? You can say it as you want. <laughs> what do you think on that? <laughs> ah, whoa, we bring more troubles. <laughs> so if you want to colonize us... No, it's, it's not that I accept that they're going to colonize okay, us. But if but... Okay, tell me. If you are a nation, you say, you're a government, you say we don't want this organization in 
our home, I, right? The solution will be yeah. to raise against it. So which means me prepare for war, isn't it? Preparing for war, war is not like the final, the very but first that, But if, if, they, if they still, do you understand that we are still dominated by those people? Yes, I understand. We are dominated by those people. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about racism? I've heard, yes. Who are the victims of racism and who are the culprits in your knowledge? The racist. The victims are blacks. Yeah, the one we call brown because you look brown. Look at your nice, beautiful chocolate there, right? And, and the, the culprits. The culprits. Okay, obviously is that the United States. The pink is the one you call white, isn't it? Yes. Now these are the culprit of racism, and we are the victim of racism. Now we are still paying the price of uh, racism, right? Yes, we're still paying this. They own. Mo they own most of our natural resources. Our right. oil. Yes. Our diamond, our gold, we are in poverty, they own it. Mm -hmm. They are trying to wipe out our identity, our names, they are trying to wipe out our languages, right? Yes. In many parts of Africa, we don't even know how to watch. Our... So now they are bringing Africa. And if we tell them we don't want it, if they say they are going to put it, so what's going to be our reaction? It's going to be, they are bringing the same story, it's just like they are not saying we are coming to enslave you, but they're coming, you understand? Yes. In that case, we have no choice but to prepare for war. Preparing means in case they put it by force, then we go to defend our home, isn't uh, it? Yes. Preparation is legitimate way of doing things. We got the right mm. to prepare for war, even mm. in time of peace. You understand? Yes. Just like our army are training every day to prepare for war, you understand? Oh, yes, it's course. a legitimate way. So we have to prepare for war in order to counter Africa if they insist, right? Mm -hmm, Against yes. our will. Okay. We have to protect our freedom and sovereignty, isn't it? Yes, of course. Very interesting, and the sister is saying that it, it is. Mm -hmm. We now I get your point. <laughs> now you get my point. You yes. didn't get it right, yeah? Yes, I guess your point. Good. Now, USA must understand that African people don't want no trouble. No, we must we... keep Africa in America, isn't it? Yes, they have to. Very interesting. And um, uh, now, my next question is going to be, the USA, has a, the USA has put a racially mixed person as first racially mixed president of that country. Barack Obama. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is clearly a puppet, right? <gasps> He's a puppet because he's doing the will of the... the he, he, he has not changed anything, any behavior of the United States. United States, everybody has been called... Though people were hoping for Obama to become president so that he can change the behavior of the United States, right? Yes. But if he has not changed the behavior of the United States, it means he's a puppet because he's still doing the same thing while he promised change when he was running for president. He says he was a man for change. Uh -huh. Right? Mm -hmm. He spoke of Martin Luther King, but he's still doing what Bush was doing. Oh. So, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's a puppet. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> he's a puppet, right? There's no doubt. There's no doubt about that. Now, let me rephrase my question. The U.S. has put a racially mixed person as first racially mixed president of that country who's clearly a puppet. And they have illegally painted Obama, who has a pink mother, the one you call white mother, right? And a brown father, the one you call black, black. father. Um, and they illegally painted Obama, who has a pink mother and a brown father, as uh, a so-called black, first black president of that country in order to fool the African people and set up Africom in Africa. Now that uh, the USA plot against Africa has been uncovered, right? Mm -hmm. How active, in your opinion, should we be in creating awareness in and opposing Africom? Obviously, like I said, the, they put him there to push things like Africom, right? And seen. And they're lying that a, a, a color, a racially mix, is so-called black, right? Because you can look at look at evidence. They lie that Obama is so-called black. While he's not, he's mixed, right? Racially mixed. Mm -hmm. Why did they lie? Okay, they bring Africa, right? And what is Africa? What is the purpose of Africa? We yesterday fought for freedom, right? Okay. 
freedom from the European, from the pink people, the one you call white, right? We fought for that freedom. And to be